Hello friends, I'm a Honored Reaper. Today we passed for Stalker 2 a little bit. First of all, let's remember how it began and deal with that cipher in more detail. By the way, the other day it was finally solved. And now in more detail. Beginning with the release of Call of Prepaid, hints and rumors have already spread, that story will not end. Well, a beautiful summer day, August 13, 2010. Oh my, it was so long ago. JC finally officially announced the Stalker 2. Since then, only one year has passed, and Grigorovich, on December 9, 2011, for personal and financial reasons, dismissed the team and suspended the company. Ну чё, пацаны, типа анекдот. At the same time, rumors spread about the closure of all projects. Everything was aggravated by the silence of Grigorovich. In early spring 2012, Alexei Sitanov, game designer, screenwriter and chief ideologist of the original game, from the time when it still had the title Oblivion Lost, gave an interview to the Ukrainian magazine Spiel, where he said that Walk on Stalker 2 was frozen, but not closed. Meanwhile, screenshots, concept arts and other information about the expected game are starting to flow from the working arsenal of developers the network. And of course there are rumors about the transfer of ownership to different companies. Subsequently it were all refuted by the GC. In May 2014 the GC studio resumed work, announcing the development of new project, Cossacks Free, PR manager of the company. Valentin Yeltashov, in an interview with Games Industry Biz, said that after the dismissing of the old team, all the accumulated materials of Stalker 2 in the form of several locations, game levels, characters, and a new almost finished version of the engine remained. Years passed, and finally in May 2018, Sergei Grigorovich quietly and unexpectedly posted the second announcement of Stalker 2 on his Facebook. The same information appeared on their website, and in March 2019, an appreciable art of the stalker, music tracks, links to the social networks, and previous games appeared. As it turns out, this poster has a code, a great idea from developers to keep the fans of a series entertained and distracted from tedious expectations. It's hidden in the writing of the year. Not for nothing, it was done through the dots. And the dots are four parts of cipher that have been solving for more than one year. The first part of the cipher was guessed quickly. This is the difference between the year on poster and the year of Chernobyl disaster. The second part of the cipher didn't come to the fans right away, but it succumbed to a solution after all. The key was hidden in the music track, where Quick Morse code is heard in some areas at the ground. If you separate the low frequency noise and slow down, then you can understand what it says. The message says, Does anyone hear me? It doesn't matter. I'm used to being alone. Loneliness. Long. I need to wait. What does it all mean? Never mind. We are just locating the difference again. This time dashes and dots in the Morse code. And the difference is 7. Now the question. How is this figure related to the game? For example, 7 is the second number of a chemical element in a periodic table called nitrogen. Nitrogen here is a famous character in Call of Prepaid. Actually, the second part of the cipher is a chemical designation of nitrogen. Now attentive fans have considered everything related to nitrogen in game. One of the quests which included nitrogen is called Unmanned Plane. After completing that, we go to all three caches of a shooter group on Jupiter. All caches contain notes. If we all bring them to the owner, that is shooter closer to the end of the game, then we will have the achievement Keeper of Secrets. This achievement can be entered as a key phrase on a site with a poster. As a result, we have a photo with an explicit designation of three parts of a cipher, 
with the name of X16Lab. The photo is in high resolution, so you can see a lot of different information. The name of the lab, a drawing, some coordinates and more. But what we need lies under our noses. Link to the last part of the code. If you are a true fan, you can notice that the drawing is not X16 lab, but the underground of AgroProm. Recall that the cache of the shooter group here. Again the shooter with his group. Further, there is a photo of the hotel right there. How it's related? Well, here again the cache of the group. Swamp Doctor from the underground AgroProm directs shooter right there. In this cache we remember that there is a decoder. So stop it! We need to unravel the code and there is a decoder. So it initially shows this number 233. This is the last part of the cipher. If you enter a full cipher without spaces to the address bar of browser, congratulatory message and feedback form will be issued. The first who reached this page was Vyacheslav Shilov, with which we cordially congratulate him. As a reward, he will receive an excellent computer, a key to Stalker 2 and a big bunch of bonuses. The keys will also be received by the first 100 visitors to this page. Of course, activity in the community has played a significant role in unraveling. I can especially highlight the Discord server 2021 X-Ray, where everything was happening. For those who are interested, I will leave a link to this Discord under the video. Well, here is a cypher story. And we can only wait 2021, although given the degree of readiness and the fact that time is merciless to games, it is unlikely that game will be released in 21. But let's hope. Moreover, they decided to use finished Unreal Engine 4 from Epic Games and not waste time developing it. And this thing cannot remain indifferent. Well, like everything said, thank you all who survived this story again and see you in new videos.